Welcome to another video about the iPad. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the YouTube videos and how you can add music to your YouTube videos on iPad. And the thing is that whenever you want to create a video for your YouTube channel on the iPad, you need to have a video editor. So for example, let's say it's going to be iMovie. It's free and it's official from Apple. So it's like the simple option to get it. If this is what it looks like, you're going to open it up. And I have a video layer of some hockey player and stuff. And this timeline only has like the video layer. So I can only see uh, the stuff, but I cannot hear anything. And the way I want to like want you to think about it is that every video software has it differently. So if you use iMovie, you have the controls to add music here. If you use something else, you're, you're going to be uh, able to find it differently in the app. Like it all depends on the video editor, but you need to somehow bring a music layer under the video layer. So in iMovie, for example, you're going to click on the plus icon and here you have the videos and the sounds and audio. So audio has a couple of options. So you have the soundtracks, which is going to be like the built in features from uh, like built in songs from the iMovie app, probably not something you want to use. Then you can access your music, your Apple music from this music app. So yeah, you can also just get to your artists, playlists and songs. So you can literally just get to your favorite artists and add their music. Well, the thing would be that if you want to publish it on YouTube or anywhere else, it's not a good idea to use that copyrighted music. Of course, we want to like use only songs that we are allowed to, and we cannot just like steal someone else's music and put it in our videos when the artist literally doesn't want that. But there are plenty of uh, songs and music tracks out there which you can use freely for example you can use uh, the, your youtube studio audio library which are like all songs which you can use on your youtube videos and there's like a huge library which you can pick from but also another option within the imovie app is the files so it's going to get to your files app so you can get to your locations for example we have some mp3 files on your dropbox or on your icloud drive perhaps on other uh, like cloud services or perhaps just on your iPad. Of course, you need to have at least something, but if you have some MP3 files, then you're going to be able to add them here. So yeah, let's, for example, bring in one soundtrack and you just can uh, add it like this. So you can just tap on it and it's going to be like play to you and you can just click on plus and it's going to be added as you can see down below right under the timeline and it just behaves like another thing so for example you can make it shorter or apply some effects to it move it around and stuff yeah of course you can split it delete the parts that you don't want and yeah like some different things so you can edit it almost the same way as you can at the video layer but this was just iMovie this is these were just the ways how you can add songs whenever you are editing your YouTube video within the iMovie app for example some different apps like let's say CapCut or something so yeah you go ahead and go go to CapCut now if you start a new project and import some random clip then there's also like a different way to add audio it's it's a similar but you don't have it in the plus icon right here but this app has it the user interface different so you can see add audio is right here and again you can extract it from different video you can browse through some sounds if you sign up with your tiktok you can also uh, access your tiktok sounds library and the saved sounds you have some effects like library you have the voiceover i mean the possibilities are there it just depends on what you want to achieve with it and these are naturally not the only video editors that you can get for your ipad so the possibilities are there like i said but every app has it differently at first i would advise you to download the mp3 files to your files app on your uh, iPad and that will make it a lot easier no matter which app you actually use for video editing. So this would be my advice. Hope you appreciate it or hope you found it valuable. Make sure to definitely check out other iPad video when it comes to YouTube because I've made a few about it like navigating the YouTube space right from the iPad. Make sure to subscribe and check out this video right here. I think you're gonna benefit a lot from it. So yeah, thanks a lot and see you there.